good morning my dear students how are you all hope you are fine so in last class we have learned tenses simple present and present progressive tense am i right yes today also i am going to teach the same topic that is tenses okay the same simple present and present progressive why because in previous class i couldn't teach tenses in zoom meet due to some network problem that's why okay so today's topic is tenses what is tenses tenses are verb forms which indicate the time of an action so tense shows the time of an action okay first we should know the verb always comes next to the subject or noun okay we have to change or modify the form of the verb to show the time of an action so there are three main tenses they are present tense past tense and future tense so present tense divided into four past tense divided into four and future tense also divided into four totally 12 tenses so main three tenses are present tense past tense and future tense okay present tense divided into four that is simple present present progressive present perfect and present perfect progressive tense then past tense divided into four simple past past progressive past perfect and past perfect progressive tense future tense also divided into four simple future future progressive future perfect future perfect progressive tense okay so totally 12 tenses in previous class i have said about verb one verb two and verb three what do you mean by verb one that means the base form of the verb or present form of the verb okay that is you can see the picture verb one verb two that means past form of the verb and verb three that means past participle form of the verb okay then we have learned first person second person and third person what do you mean by first person i and we and second person you and third person he she it and they first person singular is i and plural is we second person singular is you and plural also you the third person singular is he she it and third person plural is they okay now present tense what is present tense present tense shows the present time of an action okay actually each and every tense has different rules okay each and every tense has their own rules first one is simple present tense the formula or rule of simple present tense is if there is third person singular what is third person singular who are he she it or any other singular subject rama sita malar so any other singular subject we should add yes or es or ies with the verb okay then first person i and we second person you and third person plural they or any other plural subject for example the students the teachers the friends the managers okay so any other plural subject comes we shouldn't add yes or es or ies with the verb okay for example he plays football he is a third person singular so the verb play we have to add yes plays okay he plays football second one kids like to play mobile games kids is a plural so we shouldn't add yes or ies or ies with the verb like okay so kids like to play mobile games the third one he does his homework regularly so he is a singular subject okay singular subject means third person singular so we should add yes or es with the verb so he does do is the base form of the verb so we have to add yes or es with the verb okay he does his homework regularly the fourth one she wakes up 
early in the morning. She is the third person singular. That's why we are using yes with the verb wake. Okay, so she wakes up early in the morning. Then, fifth one. We speak English every day. We is the first person plural. So, we shouldn't add yes or yes with the verb speak. We speak English every day. We speaks is wrong. Okay. Next one. My parents live in Melbourne. My parents is a plural subject. So, we shouldn't add yes with the verb live. Okay. My parents live in Melbourne. Then, next one. They go to movie once in a week. They is third person plural. So, we shouldn't add yes or yes with the verb go. They go to movie once in a week. Then, eighth one. She loves to play tennis. She is third person singular. So, we should add yes or yes with the verb love. Okay, she loves to play tennis. The ninth one. It rains here every month. It is third person singular. So, we should add yes or yes with the verb rain. Okay, it rains here every month. Now, when and where we can use this simple present tense? In page number 123 in your summer chair book, they have given some pointers. So, we have already learned each and every points, many examples, right? Okay, uh, facts that exist at all time, that is universal truth, we have to use the simple present tense. And some permanent situation, we have to use the simple present tense, that is the situation won't change. For that, we have to use this simple present tense. Then expressing actions happening now. The action which is happening now that we can use this simple present tense. Then habitual actions also we can use this simple present tense. And future reference, for example, timetable, program, schedules. That's also we can use this simple present tense. Okay. Then move on to the present progressive tense. So present progressive tense also we have the rule that is am is our verb plus ing. Here you can see the sentence, I always agree am, okay, I am going, this is verb plus ing, go plus ing, going, verb is go and we have to add ing, okay, so going, I am going to the city, you, we, they agree, what, are, okay, you are, we are, they are, you are, Reading. Read is the verb. We have to add ing. So, reading. Then, we are playing. They are talking. So, you are reading books. We are playing baseball. They are talking too loudly. Okay, then. He, she, it. Always agree. Is. He is watching a movie. Watching. Watch is the verb. We have to add ing, watching, okay, verb plus ing. She is jumping and singing. She is jumping. Jump is the verb. We have to add ing, verb plus ing, jumping, okay. She is jumping and singing. It is walking slowly. It is walking. Walk is the verb. We have to add ing, so walking, verb plus ing, that is walking, okay. Singular subject always agree is. Okay, for example, Rama is walking slowly. Okay, then uh, Shita is watching movie. Okay, so any other singular subject which always agree is. Okay, and plural subject, for example, the children are playing football. Okay, or the students are studying. So, Plural subject always agree are. Okay. The formula of present progressive tenses am is are verb plus ing. Don't forget. Okay. Then you can see in page number 123 where and when we can use this present progressive tense. They have given three points. First one is unfinished actions now. 
so the actions which is not finished for that we can use this present progressive tense for example my grandfather is reading the newspaper now okay the action which is not finished for example the boy is sleeping on the bed uh, ronnie is going to school they are writing a composition so in these sentences we can see the action is not finished for that we can use this present progressive tense see the next point annoying habits that means some irritating habits we can use this present progressive tense you are always disturbing me that is annoying habits see some examples some boys are always teasing girls that is also annoying habits okay then uh, she is always beating me that is also annoying habits that we can use this present progressive tense then third point definite future plans with time words definite future plans that means describe an action which is definitely going to take place in the near future okay and it will come with the time word time words uh for example next week this afternoon this morning today at the moment right now now at present okay which always comes with the time words okay here in your book you can see the example the prime minister is visiting chennai that is definite future plan okay tomorrow tomorrow is the time word so definite future plans with time words the prime minister is visiting chennai is the definite future plan tomorrow is the time word okay definite future plans always comes with the time word some other example they are getting married next week okay next week is the time word they are getting married is the definite future then meena is learning english tomorrow meena is learning english that is what definite future plan time word is tomorrow okay hope you all understand this thank you so much